his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Fight Academy Ireland, holding a record of two and two. Give it up for Kieran. If you look at some of the people that Kieran Mahong has been in with over the course of his professional and amateur career, Nathan Fletcher, Jack Maguire, Matthew Freel, Mohamed Mokayev, Mickey Pereira, Mati Saharovs, Muhyiddin Abu Bakar, he's been in with some of the best in the UK and Ireland. Robbie Brown is in the brown trunks. Kieran Mulholland is in the black and gold. We're underway at our co-main event of the evening. Professional flyweight title on the line. Nice stiff job from O'Holland. Robbie Brown trying to fire back with some offense of his own. Nice inside kick, just chopping the legs and nice exchange. Brown landed a nice hook in that. This for the, as you said, the vacant professional flyweight title. Mulholland, no stranger to titles. A five time amateur champion across a number of different promotions. The dark horse right now, just taking his time, has the underhook. Robbie Brown doing a good job to switch the position. Dirty, dirty foot stumps. I love it. And again, it's a tool that you almost see go from the game, but yeah. so many brittle little bones in that foot can be easily stamped on and broken. And you hear the ferocity of how they're being thrown. I hope the camera's picking that up and two in quick succession. And There's a few essentially take away someone's foot. Yeah. You're, t you're completely impeding upon their movement. It's a very smart tactic by Robbie Brown. And every chance when that foot just goes flat to the mat, Brown absolutely rains down a stomp on it. And Again. he's really, th these aren't little taps. Yeah. He's putting everything he has behind these foot stomps. And you can see even now Mulholland is trying to get that foot almost, he's coming up on the arch of that yep. as to not expose the, the, the laces, if you will, of the foot. I think he might already be suffering from something Yeah, there. I do, yeah. You can see the reddening of that uh, right foot of German Holland straight away. And that's, again, mm. it's on target. They are nasty. That's five. And it's, it's a fight like this that when people see it and fighters see it, that they start. Yeah. You, you look at obviously the su success that Conor McGregor had with them the shoulder bumps, shoulder yeah. bumps, and then next, next next UFC card, seeing everybody who's throwing shoulder bumps. You look at what Robbie Brown is doing here, and he is the debilitating Kermit Holland's right foot here. That's going to allow him take away some of the power in, in in when he's stepping to throw shots when he's trying to spring to get a takedown he won't have to plant and dig that foot because he's going to be utilizing an injured foot so and, and as you said Phil they're not taps and that right foot of that right foot of Kieran Holland that's going to be his rear foot that's what's going to be carrying most of his weight that's where he's going to be generating the crux of his power from and it's Mulholland who's now turned brown and can he return some of that damage? Robbie Brown again finds himself forcing Mulholland against the cage. Trying to dig in for... Yeah, looking for the neck, I think. Doesn't quite get it. Nice short elbow from Robbie Brown. I think it was an elbow. Couldn't quite see over the shoulder of our referee there. But Kermit Holland staying calm here. You can see he looks... Breathing well and not panicking in any of these positions. He's playing it quite cool. Looking to snake around to the back, gets oh, one hook in. That, that was, was beautiful work. Seamless. Absolutely. Yeah, beautiful the way he used the post. Almost Showtime Pettis take back take there. That was beautiful and he's got both hooks in. What an incredible fight IQ and cage awareness, Phil. Now every single one of Mulholland's victories as a professional have come by way of submission so this is exactly where he wants to be this is bread and butter position for him just got to be careful he has his legs crossed here and I Robbie don't I don't think the ankles are quite flush against one another I think he almost has his own feet triangled which is keeping him safe but those are huge Big shots here by Mulholland 
Loosen up, that's under the chin, I think, Phil. Can't quite see if he has it underneath the chin. He has his opponent flattened out. What grip has he got? Is he palm to palm? We can't quite see. Big, big shots, and that's palm to palm. Sharp that has palm. to There's be the a, There's the Beautiful shot. work by Kira Mulholland. Stands over Brown and roars at him, but Phil, I gotta go back. The yep. awareness of the cage, how he got one hook in, used the post to kick off, used that momentum to pull Brown into his guard on the back and sink the second hook up. That was a thing of beauty. If anyone ever says to me that mixed martial artists are not intelligent athletes, I will show them a clip of what we have just seen there. To have the spatial awareness to use your environment in such a fashion was absolutely beautiful to see, but that is a huge win for Kieran, the dark horse, Mulholland. Three and two as a professional, three and oh since the move to FAI. So credit has to go in part to the likes of Pat McAllister, the likes of Liam Shannon there.